Hey friends, it's been over 75 years since the tragic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, which took thousands of innocent lives. But unfortunately, we didn't learn anything from it, as this horrific incident hasn't stopped countries from building more powerful nuclear weapons. So. To give everyone a reality check, let us see what will happen if a lunatic authority figure decides to nuke a city. Zoom in. Well, if a hustling, bustling town of a major city is nuked with a single atomic bomb, in that case, time will come to a standstill. And before anyone could react, within milliseconds, a ball of plasma hotter than anything else on Earth will emerge, which will grow into a fire dome reaching a distance of more than two kilometers in size, wiping out everything that comes under it, leaving no traces of their existence. People standing outside this dome. We'll see a flash of light, an intense blast of waves that will make anyone blind for hours. Not just that, the heat from this light generates thermal energy. It is so extremely hot that it will burn down everything flammable within 13 kilometers from the explosion spot. Now, within few seconds. Those standing outside the 13-kilometer range will start to notice the dome, but before they can understand the flash of light, it will be followed by a shock wave. The heat and radiation of the fire dome will generate a bubble of highly heated and compressed air around it, which will expand faster than the speed of sound. Producing winds stronger than storms. No concrete structure will stand its force and collapse to the ground, while trees will be uprooted like a matchstick. Even humans will be tossed away like paper in a windstorm. Sure, the shock waves will start to lose their power as it expands, yet. It will destroy everything within the range of 175 kilometers. The exploding gas stations, factories, vehicles with fuels, etc., will add up to the fire, taking thousands of lives along the way. Soon, a mushroom cloud consisting of dust and ash and the fireball remains will rise up in the next few minutes. Engulfing the city into darkness, this will pull the air around the city, providing it with more oxygen, acting as fuel. The moving wind will turn the fire into a firestorm and burn everything and everyone stuck in the rubble. But this is not the end. As the shock waves will continue to travel up to 21 kilometers, shattering windows of houses and vehicles, as the sharp glass can strike anyone coming to its contact. And after a few hours or even days, millions of people will find themselves severely injured, trapped under rubble, or blinded by the flash of light. Waiting for help to arrive, but as even the hospitals would have collapsed, frontline workers are no more or are injured. Many of those wounded will lose the battle of life. Those fortunate ones who happen to be at a safer place, like tunnels or bunkers, will think they are no more in danger. But as they walk out. They will find themselves under a strange black rain, along with radioactive ashes and dust. Now, the horrific radiation will start to creep in as it fills the air with poison, making it hard to breathe. Due to which, many will succumb to death. 
Remember my friends, the world is not prepared for a disaster of such a big scale. And there is no point in harming others just for a piece of land of false pride. So, it's essential to raise your voice against nuclear weapons and promote love, unity and peace. Trivia time! Did you know radiation from a nuclear explosion can also remain in the atmosphere for decades? Yes, this radiation is so powerful that it can remove electrons from atoms and can damage DNA. Hope you learned something essential to save the world from a big man-made disaster. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.